Hello guys. So in this uh, series of exercises, I'm going to be trying to explain how arrays work and how to use them and how to loop and how to use uh, loops within conditionals, how to use the for loop, the while loop, the map, the filter, the dot find, all the high order functions in JavaScript and also looping dictionaries. So I think you'll get a pretty good feeling on how, I think this, this is like the ideal way to learn loops because if you keep reading or watching videos it's not going to make much sense until you actually code it so what i built here is basically a series of incremental exercises from the easiest one until i guess pretty interesting ones uh without without making you like become overwhelmed or nothing like we have been actually i have been testing uh these exercises for a while and i have been tweaking them and making them better and better so i think we are at a pretty good level that you're going to be able to keep the progress without being stuck for, for much. And how does this work? You're going to see on the left that you have every every exercise in a folder, but you don't have to care about these uh, folders because on the right you have the instructions for every exercise and you have a table of contents here where you can see, it. actually you can see here this uh, gray dot, it's going to become uh, green once you finish them. Also, you have translations for all of them, and if you don't see them right now, you may see them when you're actually seeing the video. If you find any bugs, please click here and report a bug. This will take you basically to a, a GitHub repository where you can actually describe uh, what you think it's a bug. Try to be very descriptive, please, because it's really hard sometimes to to find the problems that you are, that you are reporting. The other thing that is worth mentioning is you're gonna see another button when you click on next like this you're gonna see that it's gonna open the exercise every exercise has an app.js a readme in Spanish, a readme in English and it may have other readmes depending on the translations and it has a test.js that represents the tests um, and then of course you have the instructions of the exercise with some hints sometimes and you have the button to compile that basically will show you what you do for example if I do here console.log P, you'll see that when I press play, it will it says compiled and it shows here at the bottom the P that I put here, like the actual compilation, the P. So what I did, uh, if I say hello, it's gonna say hello. Hello, like that. Well, you know what I mean. And if you press test, it's gonna show you your results, if it's good or bad, like if you actually did it in a good way. Uh, it, here it's saying that you need it's not it's not properly done, and then it's saying here that the console log function should be called with the hello world. So basically, it's trying to tell you what it is. But also, my recommendation is to read here a little bit of uh, what's happening. Like for example, if you scroll up in here, it says I was expecting hello world and I got hello. So, and the number of calls is one. You can also understand here that it's saying I want I am expecting console log to have been called with hello world. So that's also something um, that you can understand. So sometimes it's good uh, when, when the output here, the message output is not explicit enough. My recommendation is to read the actual test here at the, at the top or just open it here as well. If you know what you're doing, if you know about test, that if you don't, don't worry. It's just basically the code to test it and sometimes you'll be able to understand what's happening by reading that code. Oh, but you also will have my videos because at the top of each exercise you will have here a, a video button, uh, tutorial I think you will say, and if you click on it you will be watching this video like the, that you're watching right now, so every exercise will come with a different video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck. Oh no, and one more thing. There are a lot more exercises like this. If you go to uh, GitHub uh, for Geeks Academy repository that it's uh, an academy that I built you go click here in interact interactive tutorials so for Geeks Academy they come interactive tutorials and then you will find a list of a lot of tutorials a lot of tutorials similar to this one so that's it I hope you guys uh, enjoy the exercises because it's been a lot of work and I I really think they're good so, but any feedback will um, I'll be excited to hear because I want to make them even better and better every day. Thank you.